So let's quickly move on to the first module in this list and that is OnePlus Dolby. In case you do not have any kind of sound mode pre-installed in your custom room or if you're using a stock Android device, then you can try out this one. This could be useful for you for if you want to install this thing on a device, you have to install two modules actually. First one is O plus Core, which is basically means which basically means One Plus Core, and second one is One Plus Dolby module. These two modules you have to install. You can also use Kernel SC for this one, but I will recommend you to use Magisk or Magisk Delta if you can use it. If you can use it, both of this both of the Magisk are recommended, but I'll choose or I will definitely recommend you to use Magisk Delta. After installing and rebooting your device, this is the interface you will get. Very simple, very minimal, definitely looks good. And it's not 100% guaranteed that it will work on every device. It should work, it might not. So it depends, but you can give it a try in case you want to. Definitely one of the best sound mods right now. Moving on to the second one in this list and that is digital well-being. This is quite common, but this is not actually a real digital well-being. It's a sandboxed version of digital well-being. What this does is, by default, I mean, if you don't use it, it simply drains your battery in the background. You can check out in the screen time settings, etc. In the battery section, battery usage section. But by installing this module, what you have to do is, you have to, after installing this module, simply search for the digital well-being app on the Google Play Store once. Let me show you. After that, you will see the update there. Simply update this digital well-being app directly from here. After updating, which will not take much time, most likely in your device too, because it does not have any interface, you have to move on to home screen, click on widgets and put that widget on the home screen like this one, the thing which I'm doing right now. After that, what you have to do is you just have to simply disable the module which you have installed in Magisk and that is it, that is it. This is a very useful thing and I guess you might love this thing for sure. So don't miss it out in case you want to try it out. Link is in the description. The third one in this list is regarding launcher. If you are looking forward to a custom launcher running on your device, for example, like I'm using Pixel 8 Pro in my other device. In my other hand, I have Pixel 8 Pro and that is using stock Android Pixel. I can use this thing, for example, if you use launch, if you use Lineage OS custom ROM, if you use Pixel based custom ROM, by default, Pixel ROM does not have any kind of customizations. And the default launcher is Pixel Launcher, so it does not have any customizations too. In this case, you can use launcher and get all these very useful features directly on your device. It's not 100% guaranteed that it will work on every device. It will work with every feature, but it should work. And in case you want to give it a try, you can. Very amazing features are actually present in launcher. And that is actually one of the best launchers out there in case you don't know. It brings you custom themed icon support. It also brings you hide app icon support and much more things. If you install this thing, you will get to know better. This is about the launcher. Let's move on to another option, another Magisk module in this case, and that is related to boot animation. I've shared some of these modules with you already on my other Hindi channel, but some of you are not aware of that. That is why I am sharing these modules here in this channel. This is regarding the boot animation. That is nothing boot animation. Nothing goes boot animation basically. After installing this module, it will take only a few of the seconds to install and simply reboot your device and then you will get to know about the boot animation. This is how the boot animation is looking like. Quite simple, quite minimal, definitely. And quite lightweight by the way, it's only around 500 KB. So that is also a quite amazing thing too. The last but not the least, the module in this list is Steven Block. What this does is, if you want to use ad blocker on a device, by default, some case, sometimes we use DNS.adguard. I mean, I also use that, but sometimes you need very, very high ad blocking, you can say. And this ad blocking option or this module does the same. It blocks almost every tracker from your device. It blocks every kind of ad sometimes. DNS does not able to, but this actually this module does. The host file is quite amazing. It brings you a lot of options. But one thing keep in mind, make sure your private DNS is off if you are using this module. Other than else, everything just same. So these are the five modules I just wanted to let you know. You can try out them and links are already here in the description. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this.